Hey, what's going on? I'm Tracy Leanne, and we've got Ryan Hurd here. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for taking the time out and stopping by. I, this is the first time I've gotten to meet you. You were at the station for a wolf den. Oh, yeah. And I have, don't remember why. I was probably out on an event, but I didn't get to see you. Well, so it's awesome to it's meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So you've got your new song out, To a T. Yeah. How, how's everything else going? Does it feel good to have that out and just I enjoying it? I love doing uh, country music, and I love having a song on country radio, and um, that never gets old to hear yeah. your song. Uh, so it's great. To a T has been a really special like it's been a special moment in my career and it's yeah. really fun to just get to see people react to it and yeah. see fans sing it back to me at my show it's 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 been an awesome year so what what part do you enjoy the most like getting the song ready or once it's released seeing that reaction to everybody or i love the writing process i love the recording process that's always really exciting when you yeah. think you have something special um that first day that you put something out and you see everybody get excited about it and you know that you kind of nailed it that yeah. that's a really special feeling well there's one song that you wrote and i had no idea that it was you and marin with luke bryan sunrise sunburn oh, yeah. i had no idea like i'm singing that and someone's like yeah did you know i'm like but it's crazy because hearing that i feel like i hear it a completely different way knowing now yeah. who wrote it well I got my start in Nashville as a songwriter for other yeah. artists, and I've been really blessed to have a whole bunch of people record my music. So yeah. I'm still doing that's still a huge part of what I do is, is write for other artists. And so um, Sunrise was a huge moment for me. It was my second number one as a writer, and mm -hmm. I've gotten close a lot, but I've only had two that actually rang the bell. And so, like, I don't know, anytime somebody else records your song, it's such a huge honor. Yeah. Because, like, Luke's going to sing that song for the rest of his life. Yeah. You know, and it's a huge. It's just, it's heavy and it weighs on you, it makes you want to write better songs. And yeah. so, um, you know, guys like Luke and Dirks and FGL and Lady Annabellum, like, I don't know, like, I, just looking back on like this period of country music history and really having like a little piece of it is really cool to me. Yeah. Are there any songs that you've written that other artists have picked up that you're like, I wish I would have kept that for myself to record at some point? Uh, no, I've never felt like that. Um, but I have like ones that I wish. You know, I, I, I have favorites, you know, yes. like I wrote this song for Dirks called I'll Be the Moon and it was never on the radio, but it was a so kind of song that you wouldn't expect anyone to record. Yeah. And so like stuff like that is really special to me. Like the fact that the, he would just put himself out there and record yeah. a song that's a, like very vulnerable and very dark <laughs> to be, <Yeah. laughs> and he wanted to do it. And yeah. so like, I don't wish that it happened any differently i just really appreciate the fact that an artist like that would take a shot on a song like that yeah what is the is there one song in particular that you look back and was like that was a hard song to write like what has it been the toughest song to a t was really very difficult to write yeah because the chorus is it turns into a math problem at some point just between like the way that the kick drum works in the track and then the way that the the t's and the i's work uh -huh. is sort of like at one point, you're sort of. We spent hours just kind of writing that chorus, and so it took two or three days to write. Um, that, that one was a really difficult one to write. Yeah. But it's when you're on something special, and you know it, it makes it really fun. It doesn't feel like work. Yeah. Well, no, I like I said I, I've seen the outpour with the two a T. I think when it was released, even I on social media, like you see all the posts, yeah. and you're like, okay. All right. It's been an, a really cool song. Now it's we just need to reach out to it. Sacramento. Back out. You just full show. Tell me when. I'll be there. I love Done. California. We will make it happen. Before I let you go, since George Strait is performing Sunday night, I want to ask, what is your favorite George Strait song? Troubadour. Troubadour. That was a quick one. Oh, I love country music. Yeah. I love George Strait. Um, he's got a boat in the Bahamas called, <laughs> called Day Money. And I'm like, wow. Secretly, like, very, like, <laughs> very much a George Strait uh, germ. So yes. uh, I'm like, man, that dude figured it out. So, yes. uh, but yeah, Troubadour for whatever reason. Nice. Also, uh, give it away or t was yes. that? Yes, give it away. Yes. Damn, what I a know. song. That album. He says four poster king size bed, and it made me laugh because nobody, I don't think anybody uses that term four poster king size bed. No, but uh, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a George Strait thing. A blue Clear Sky. There's so many. Yeah. Once you start thinking about and I love his new song. Yes. I Which think it's a, It's just a banger. It's I just like a rock a band. Tom, but I, I feel like country music needed God and country music. 
Yeah. I feel like they needed that song. It came Heck out yeah. at a good time. Yeah. It's, it's but it's <laughs> George, though. Is there yeah. a bad time for a George song? <laughs> no. But that song specifically is just like a honky tonk tune on the radio, and it sounds yeah. great. So. Nice. It was a great time for that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out.